Hi, I just wanted to do a quick video for those of you who are concerned about the current situation and concerned about how you can still provide content to your customers, to your clients, to the people that you uh, have as the customers of your business. Now, a lot of these things uh, people want to be able to present and to be able to do the same kinds of things that they can do uh, if they're there in person, but to be able to do them online. And I just wanted to give you some examples of what's possible really with a very affordable setup. Now, you can get these done, things done in professional studios, of course you can, but those take time to book, um, they are costly to be able to do them, and you know it's not necessarily the most convenient thing so what i wanted to be able to do is to give you an example of what is possible with a home setup now what you can see here probably looks reasonably i hope professional um maybe not quite the same level of quality as you would get if you went in where they've got thousands of pounds worth of equipment professional lighting uh, and everything else but i just want to quickly talk you through the setup that i've got here just to give you an idea of what's possible. Now, as I said, I'm not in a studio. I'm actually stood in my dining room. I haven't got any professional lighting set up at all. I've got a patio door in front of me and I've just simply turned the blinds on that so it softens the light as it comes in. I'm not using a professional camera. I'm using a webcam, but just put it up on a very uh, cheap tripod just so that it gets it up to eye level. I'm not using a massive, uh, expensive green screen setup. The sheet I have behind me is just a sheet of green cloth. Yes, green screen cloth, but very affordable. And uh, it's simply got a couple of uh, holders on the wall um, and the stick inside it. So I haven't even got a professional frame. This is hung in front of the glass doors that separate me from my lounge. My son is actually next door listening to TV. So the audio that you can hear is coming through the Bluetooth headset that I'm using, but that should give you a nice clear audio. Also, it cuts out the background noise that you've got. But you end up with the ability to present like this, to be able to talk to your audience, to be able to connect with them, to do all of the kinds of things that you would do if you were stood in person. And if you want to be able to record these things, to be able to record uh, a presentation, for example, then that's what this looks like. So the example that I have is just a uh, slideshow up on screen. It's just an example one, just something I had around. My background is that I'm a business analyst and product owner. So I'm used to standing up and giving these kinds of presentations, but the ability to be able to do them online, to be able to stand effectively in front of your presentation really does make a difference. So what you can do uh, if you go through the, uh, the presentation and I'm just using my, my normal little clicker, is you can talk through and you can give your presentation. So I'm not going to give you actually give you the presentation, but you can get the idea as you click through, you talk about what it is, what your subject is. You're off to the side so you can see that. So if you get in the way, you can see yourself on the screen. Um, you can just move out and you can show them you know, what's there behind you. Uh, carry on through, make the points that you need to make. OK, so this really is a very effective way of being able to give a presentation. It's much more engaging, much more connecting than if you were simply to be a disembodied voice. Um, if you were wanted to do this on a Zoom call, then absolutely you can do the same sort of thing. You can use the same kind of green screen setup uh, that I've got here, set up slightly different. Um, but to bear in mind that for this, I'm recording and the software that I'm using to do this is free. So the total cost, the outlay for being able to set something up like this is probably the order of a couple of hundred pounds. You know, if you can get the, the kit, particularly either refurbished or um, a second hand one, you can drop that cost quite significantly. But even if you were to buy all of the stuff that I'm using here, you know, the webcam, the tripod, the green screen, the headset and buy all of that brand new, that shouldn't run you more than sort of 200, 250 pounds. Now, for some people, that's a lot of money. But if you want to be able to do this, if you want to be able to have a professional, uh, you know, reasonably professional setup, a reasonably high quality one without the expense and the time of being able to set up a, a studio or to go into somebody's studio and do this, then this absolutely gives you 
an affordable way of doing that. So I'm just going to switch out of the slideshow and you're back to talking to your audience. So like I'm talking to you and when you are recording like this, when you are broadcasting like this and you can use this same software that I'm using for doing your Facebook lives, for example, then this is a great way of connecting with your audience and particularly using the headset that I'm using because it cuts out the background noise. You can drop your voice. You can pause, you can make the connection with your audience that you want to. And that face to face, that heart to heart, heart to heart connection can come across really, really well. So if this has been of interest to you, if you're in that situation, if you would like to be able to know how to do this kind of setup, then please do get in touch. My name is Gordon Mullen uh, from Effective Remote Relationships. I would love to be able to help you and I'll see you next time.